Taekwondo, the way of the kicking foot and smashing fist. That's what the word actually means. Something that started as Korean culture, but grew into an Olympic sport, practiced by nearly 70 million people in 185 countries. Of them, Malaysia is up there with the best, and a dead set of getting even better in Singapore next month. This is playing with a pro on Fox Sports Asia. And as you can see, I'm all kitted out today because I'm playing with not just one pro, but four pros. This is the Malaysian National Taekwondo Pumse team. On my uh, left here, we have Yong Jin Kun and Kok Juni. And on my right, we have Chu Wei Yan and Yap Kim Wei. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Now, these guys are going to be taking part, of course, in Singapore uh, in June for the SEA Games. But we want to catch up with them right now just to get a little bit of background as to what Taekwondo is all about. Now, how is this different from martial arts, other martial arts? Well, first of all, Taekwondo is a disciplinary sport. It requires you to have a good discipline. And it's unlike any other sport where you just have fun and play around. Is there anything else about it? I mean, in terms of is it kick-based or is it punch-based? Well, Taekwondo is originally from Korea. So the meaning of Taekwondo is the way of the kicks and punch. So we focus on more on kicks. So about 70% of what we do are kickings. Okay, now, getting back to this side of the room, if you could say it, uh, how did you guys get into this? When, and when did you start? What's the training like? Uh, I started when I was seven and um, we train about six days a week for three hours per day. Um, I started when I was six and I started the uh, competition life when I was in middle school. Uh, the training is about two hours a day for five days a week. Okay, now you guys are all obviously ready. Now what I read up on Taekwondo is Kirogi and Pumse one of you is a Kirogi exponent, uh, the rest of you are Pumse. Give us a little bit of background first on Kirogi and Pumse. What's the difference? Kirogi, you can ask him. Yeah, okay, go on. Uh, Kirogi is uh, a combat, uh, combat competition, of course. Uh, it involves more on uh, speed and response, agility, and nothing is fixed in uh, Kirogi. Uh, whereas for Pumse, we fix uh, what we have to do and we drill it every day to perfect it and uh, we go on co for our competition. Now, um, in terms of, uh, it, of everything that, you know, in terms of the other styles of Taekwondo, there's a new style that's come up, it's called Freestyle, right? About three years ago, what's that about? Freestyle Pumse is basically where you can get creative and you, all of the Taekwondo martial arts, the movements, you can create your own movements and just be creative and you get to do all of the flips, flips, all the high level techniques, kicking, multiple kickings. So this is freestyle. It's, it's, basically, um, it's basically different from what we are doing right now, which is the traditional Pumse. It's fixed and the movements are, how do you say, more static. So for freestyle, it requires you to jump a lot, more agility and more fast movements. Is it more fun? Of course, definitely. More, yeah. A lot more fun. And there, there is music also. You need to be harmoni harmonised with the music. Okay, well, these guys have basically, you know, taken time out of their rigorous training schedule to actually show me some basic forms of Pumse. It was a lot of fun. Let's have a look at that now.
How about that then? That's me getting to grips with this new outfit. Now, guys, what did you think? Was that all right? It was pretty okay for beginners. <laughs> there you go, for a beginner. Okay, now getting back to the SEA Games itself, um, you're going there. Now, I know you two have bronze medals from the SEA Games. Is that what you're going to be looking for? Obviously looking to, to further that? I believe that we can achieve something better than bronze this time. So I'm hoping, we're hoping for better colors on our medals. Yeah, maybe a silver or gold. Better color. There's only two, two better colors that you can really go to for that one. Okay, now, um, a lot of you had a lot of success recently as well. Let's, uh, tell us a bit about that. I know all of you have, have won medals. Young, first of all, what medals have you won this year? This year I have won a total of six medals, four silver and two bronze. I've won one silver and two bronze. I've won two silvers and two bronze. I've won one silver and one bronze. That's more medals than I've, I've ever heard of, but it's good to know that you know, you're ready on a, on a medal run and you feel in, a, in good form? Yes, very good form. Okay, now who's who going to be the biggest competitors when you get to Singapore in terms of Taekwondo? What are the big uh, countries? Uh, Philippines, Vietnam and Thailand. Those are, those are the major ones. Of those three, which do you reckon is, uh, is the best? Uh, Vietnam, I guess. Well, look, listen, guys, I want to thank you all, first of all, for, um, you know, taking the time out of your busy schedules to help us with this. Before we get to the end, if you got anyone you'd like to say uh, thanks to? Yes, first of all, we would like to thank our coach for SEA Games and not to forget our masters and all of the support from MSN, ISN and, of course, our parents. They give a lot of support without them. I don't think I don't think we'll be here. We'll be studying, I guess. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, I also like to thank TM and our clubs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Got any thanks for anyone? No. Um, I'd like to thanks uh, to all my masters and friends and families for all the supports. Yeah. I'd like to thank all four of you, and I'm going to be looking out for all four of you at the SEA Games as well. This has been fantastic. It's been a really great experience. And this is Jeevan Sovanathan for Fox Sports Asia, and I've been playing with the pros.